Yes, on that, John, but I am interested in hearing what you have for us. Well, uh, it might be a, a good time to hang out with the bugs and be inside, Scott, because we've got more rain and more storms to come as we uh, take you into your Friday and into your weekend as well. Certainly the uh, storms here this evening have packed a punch, uh, producing widespread power outages, numerous trees and wires down, and also we've seen some hail too. So I want to share some of your photos that you've been sending in. Here's one from Aaron in Elysburg of some quarter-sized hail with some of the storms that moved through your backyard probably three or four hours ago. Uh, this storm that moved through Tug Hannock uh, produced uh, a lot of trees down. We've seen uh, numerous power lines down and power outages in Wyoming County. And uh, this is why you can see these big trees getting uprooted by the powerful winds with the storm. And then this one from Daniel and Nanticoke, you can see the hail uh, from that storm. The hail maybe not as large or as impressive if you want to look at it that way as the winds. Unfortunately, the winds producing all sorts of uh, issues in the greater Nanticoke area. We've seen a lot of st what we call storm reports. That's what all these little individual little boxes represent. In fact, we've seen 32 of them so far. And as people get home from work and we're getting more pictures and videos in, this is probably going to get populated even more. Again, from the storms that have already passed, we don't expect any additional severe weather tonight, although we are still continuing to find some rain. It's actually fairly heavy still, at least in this backyard. That's where we stand now on the radar. You can see where the heaviest rain is, mainly confined to eastern Pennsylvania at this point. In fact, the sky is starting to glow this almost yellowy orange color off to the west from our backyard. That's the back edge of the rain just starting to come into view. But when we widen this whole thing out, we talked about this all week, that this slow moving system that we were watching moving in from the west was slow to approach, which gave us a lot of dry days. But now that it's here, it's in no rush to leave. So while this thing continues to hang out overhead, we're going to find more chances for some rain and storms in the coming days. So storms will be coming to an end for us tonight. It'll be very humid. We'll have some areas of fog temperatures in the 60s tonight. Now, if it stays clear enough early tomorrow morning, you'll have a great view of the International Space Station flyover. That's happening at 5 tomorrow morning, and it lasts five minutes. Look to the northwest. You'll see that solid white dot moving to the east-southeast sky. Tomorrow, kind of a repeat of today. It will be a little bit cooler, but another chance for storms in the afternoon. And just like today, those storms could pack a punch. Level 2 out of 5 risk for pretty much all of our area for tomorrow. It looks like the timing for the storms will be between about 3 and 9, at least the chance for severe storm. So here's what the radar might look like tomorrow. That's in the morning. This is noon. Notice not much going on, but just like today, two, three o'clock, here come the storms. And some of these may go over some of the same areas that are getting hit tonight. And this may be a theme that we'll have to watch out for, uh, not only for tomorrow, but the weekend too. Storms moving over some of these same areas, and that would start to raise the chances for flash flooding. So that's something we'll also have to watch for. For the high school football games tomorrow night, there will be uh, perhaps some delays that we'll have to watch for with some storms around. It'll be warm and muggy for week three of high school football. That's a look at the next seven days. So yep, more chances for storms. That'll take you right through this weekend looks like out of the next seven days, Tuesday is probably the best chance to stay dry. And then another system comes in for Wednesday and Thursday, bringing in more chances for some storms. So it seems like if it's not, you know, broiling hot, we're dodging storms. So it's one or the other, it would appear, Scott. I think at this point, many of us would probably just prefer the heat. I'm in that category. I'm with you. All right, John, thanks very much.